behind the radiant clarity of his mathematics was a secret world. A world of furnaces, coded manuscripts, strange symbols, and experimental dangers. Newton was an alchemist, not in the playful, mystical sense we imagine today. In the serious, obsessive, life-consuming sense of a man who believed ancient wisdom had concealed the true nature of matter. He built a private laboratory and spent countless nights watching flames shift colors, powders react, metals melt, and vapors condense. His notebooks overflowed with cryptic recipes. The green lion shall consume the sun. The red dragon shall rise from the ashes. These were metaphors, symbolic instructions handed down from medieval alchemists. To Newton, alchemy wasn't superstition. It was a path to the deepest structures of reality. He believed that. Matter contained hidden principles. Transformation was the key to understanding nature. Ancient sages encoded their knowledge in symbolic language, and the philosopher's stone might reveal the unity of the material world. Modern scientists ran chemical analyses on his preserved hair. The mercury levels were extreme. Newton had poisoned himself in his pursuit of transmutation. This part of his life is often excluded because it complicates the myth of the rational scientist. But it is essential because it shows us something profound.